children, psychologists will tell us, are most open to um, things like visions. At the height of World War I, the Great War, three shepherd children saw the Virgin Mary before them. She shared three visions. I would look at all three of them as snapshots of what the request or the requirement of the Blessed Mother is. Monsignor Michael Hardiman says the first was a vision of hell, a plea to save souls. The second, a warning. Mary told the children that if men did not stop offending God, a greater war would begin with communism at its center. These two so-called secrets were revealed when one of the children, Lucia, wrote them down. The third was sealed, not to be opened until 1960. I think the fundamental reason was that she thought that all of the people would be dead, including herself. In 1960, the Vatican said the secret would remain forever sealed, and people began to speculate. Some thought it could possibly foretell the apocalypse. It's not that Mary told the children not to say anything. Right. It's that the authorities said, oh, we don't want to disclose this right now, so let's put them in the drawer. Uh, I would say they didn't really have the theological sophistication to be able to explain. Following John Paul II's assassination attempt on the feast day of Fatima in 1981, the Pope asked for the envelope containing the third secret. What he read wasn't revealed until the year 2000. The Vatican officially says the writing is a description of a bishop in white, killed alongside people of various social classes. Some believe the vision to be St. John Paul. Monsignor Hardiman looks at it differently. The third vision is the struggle of the world and the triumph of the cross. Although some believe the private revelations of the children relate to past events, or maybe even future prophecies, Monsignor Hardiman sees a common thread through all of them. The message of Mary, pray the rosary for the salvation of souls. For Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.